Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island. We have a Pants Patrick. Still. But he's on the spotlight today. So we have a sponge that for some reason still worms through everything. Now, I do not look forward to not getting to hear this music anymore. This is unfortunately the last whoa, level we're going to hear it in. Not that the next series music is poor, but still. What a taste of that, this episode, actually. Come on. So, we have to think ahead now, it seems like. For some reason, this one particular... There we go. That thing doesn't like... ...cooperating. This one's better. The other one doesn't disappear when you want it to, for some reason. Anyways, right, so for some reason, this is a very SpongeBob-centric level. Which... I... Of course, we all know what SpongeBob's status is among everybody in this game, but still... Aha! You know, I just now realized you can't... Patrick's mugshot isn't a very good one. That's good. But when it's not selected, now you can't even see his eyes or anything. His eyes are just one big white block, he just has like a giant singular eye. Anyways, so every ability of Swordrogs is on display today. For some reason. But in new ways, for example, this cruel little thing. Don't be touched, Timmy. Remain emotionally guarded. There you go. Not that nobody else gets attention, of course, but... Spongebob is the man of the hour. Okay, this bit's a little tricky. Not the biggest fan of it. Okay. It's a... Well, there are two things I don't like here. One, it's annoying to get that gold heart that way. Secondly, I don't like having to drop onto that ledge there. But anyways, you need to be on the top of... I'm pretty much as happy as you can possibly be on that green platform. Or, uh, not platform, but on the green wall that you're sticking to, to be able to pick up that heart. Alright. Why? Because you actually have to time your bubbles for this too, because if you just grab and fire them, they won't actually reach the darn thing. Okay. Not that bad. Oh, this one I actually can kill, so whatever. Not a little concerned there. Okay. No. Sounds up it's a play. Da da. Well, that was rather brief, but heh, <laughs> briefs. But anyways, we have plenty more to this episode because we actually have another full-fledged, well, new ability type level to go on to now. You may recall. Or you may not. I don't quite recall what I have and haven't shown. I believe I've made at least some mention of need to go up here next. I mentioned it. I don't know if I really showed it up very well. Ta-da! You exceeded that number a decent bit, actually. Anyhow, let's go! More nice music. I like the aesthetics here, though. I mean, all the, like, beige-ish, crownish stuff aside, I think the background's really nice. I mean, look at that, you have the foliage down below. And you actually have a really nice, clear, reflective coast. Well, not quite coast, but ocean. Nice clouds. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even... I was looking only at the background, not actually at the screen. That was great. And these things again. Oh, I wonder what we were gonna do, what to do today. This game feels like it's being too kind to me. 
More hearts. Well, that's gonna be our return route, you can probably guess. I wonder how much bigger Patrick's hitbox is in it. Well, not quite. I wonder... I'm guessing everyone has the same collisions and whatnot. I'm curious how well or unwell it lines up with Patrick's sprite. Since he has a very tall sprite. His head goes a bit higher than I think anybody else's sprite does. Anyways. Could it be? Pants. Well, yes. That's why. Honestly, it feels wrong seeing him in pants now. Also, I'm going to do this now. Like Patrick had described before, gliding with pants. At least this ability was alluded to beforehand. Seriously, though, I'm not used to seeing Patrick with pants on anymore. You know what? Now I think about it, between first seeing Patrick without pants in this game, and then seeing Patrick put his pants back on later on at this point in the game, I don't think I've ever actually seen Patrick in any other material. Like, up until now, I haven't seen Patrick wearing anything but underwear since we first encountered him in this game. Anyway, so here's some new mechanics. Floating. It's actually, like, pretty detailed and whatnot. There's actual strategy put into this. It'd be kind of tough sometimes to do some certain stuff. Namely, if you actually want to gain height. Uh, like, you can land on the upper ledge there, I'm pretty sure. If you don't just right. Ah, uh, almost. It's really hard to gain height at the end of a... arc, though. And not just... Also, because you should be able to. I'm guessing this game was, in fact, playtested. <laughs> so, how much thought was put into all the challenges and whatnot, but. It takes off being used to, though. It's really touchy. Also, if you want to descend at a reasonable rate, you need to kind of get used to the idea of trying to stay in one spot while also moving left and right. Because, as you can see, I don't really descend much. Let us in a lot more quickly once they start turning. On off sure works really well. I think the game explores the implications of this pretty well too. And something that works really notable is you keep your momentum when you level out. That's kind of key because you travel the further well maybe you don't travel the furthest, but you do uh you fall almost slowly when you're leveled out. So because you keep momentum though, that means that you can gain speed, like we're gonna see here, and then level out. And you keep moving on to that side pretty quickly while also losing very little altitude. Like I was still to the right there actually, and I was still moving left. Very left, in fact. Okay, so I'm guessing you can pick up that heart here uh, when you float over here from the left, but it's not quite what I'm gonna do. I've never managed to do that. A few times I've tried. So instead, I will. Try to set this up. Ah! See? Reasonably easy. Dang. So, like most of the levels where you get new abilities, it's essentially just a big, like, tech demo. And a good opportunity for you to get used to everything you need to do. But I feel rather well acquainted with this ability as of late. Come on. It does help to be patient though. Because if you want to minimize how much you move laterally, then you really need to have some patience. 
as you stay still. Also, we have updrafts. These are also very much important, as you can imagine. Something that involves gliding. Go, Patrick, go! No, not, not just yet. Controlling your altitude and whatnot is very much important. Hello. Namely, in situations like that. Oh, fine, so that isn't Patrick. Right. Time to get some love. And now we're Patrick again. Now, one thing about updrafts, though, is that you get pretty much no actual boost from updrafts unless you're completely horizontal. So you really... Since when you're up against these drafts that you need to be especially aware of what angle you're at. Yes. Okay. So does that hurt? This is actually a pretty relatively safe level, as long as you can control the pants decently well. And I guess there's the one heart, the third heart, I think, that actually gives us a chance of getting hurt, but well, well. Off we go. You know, I suspect that if this game actually had voice acting, Patrick would be saying something like, well, something to the effect of feeling a draft. Plenty. Okay. Also, I'm pretty sure as you swing left and right, your hitbox actually moves with it. So you can accidentally swing yourself into a... ...dangerous wall if you're not too careful about it. In situations such as where that last heart was. Anyhow. Ta-da! That's actually a reasonably length episode, compared to... Well, at least most of the episodes in this series. But... That would be it for this episode. Let's play Nicktoons about for Volcano Island for the GBA. I'll see you guys next time in the next episode when we move on to Great Yonder. Hey guys. Also, in case you were wondering, there's no way of canceling out of this glide animation. Oh. Well, you can use fast forward on the emulator. <laughs> Pressing all the buttons if I can do that. Well, there's that, I guess. You're especially impatient. Otherwise, you can't cancel out of anything, so. Patience indeed, like I said before. Anyways, bye guys!